How's it going guys? I'm back with another comic book haul. This is the last haul for March. So we get right into it. I picked up Hadrian's Wall number five after its long break. It's finally back. It is written by Kyle Higgins and Alex Siegel with art by uh, Rod Rice. Rod Rays. And I really do like the art. It's kind of a, a Phil Noto kind of art. Um, I don't know why they took a break. I mean, the series is going to be, what, six, seven issues? I picked up Animal Noir number two. This one is by uh, Zar Lunak. And Nak Juren. Hmm. And it has the art by Zar. I have not read the first one, but I went ahead and picked up number two just for the art. I picked up The Old Guard, number two, by Ruka and Fernandez. I really did enjoy the first one. It was kind of off here and there, but I think uh, the art is very well worth the second shot. So, The Old Guard, number two. Man Thing, number two. I have not read man thing number one but I decided to go ahead and pick up number two then I got some number ones I got galaxy of brutality number one this is a black mask title and it is created by Alex Zipper Zitter Alexis Zitter and Fabian Ranger Jr. It's written by, yeah, well, it's created by both, I guess. Art by Zitter and writing by Ranger. So, the art is very interesting. Huh. I think I picked it up mostly because there's not as many word bubbles. <laughs> so, I figured if it's a quick read, some crazy art, why not? This uh, robot reminds me a lot of... Uh, that one from a Space Adventure Cobra. What was it? What was it? <laughs> and then I got Karma Police number one. This is from Bolt Comics. I'm glad I got my issue of uh, Karma Police. I was thinking it wasn't going to arrive, but it did. And it's kind of hard to tell what the creative team is on uh, Karma Police here, but the writer is Chris Lewis. And the artist is Tony Gregory. It's an interesting way to set up your credits there. And I finally got my issue number one of Heathen. Um, the shop said that they uh, basically had to reorder it or something because it was uh, late. I'm not sure. But I didn't uh, ask any further. I figured it's here. That's, that's good enough for me. For those of you who have read up to issue two by now, thanks a lot for the spoilers. Not, nice. But yeah, there's number one of that. And I got my uh, one shot of uh, Jughead and Jughead the Hunter. And I figured since it was a one shot, I threw it into my, uh, into my previews list. And uh, I don't remember if I got this cover specifically or what cover I got. But anyways, it's written, script by uh, Frank Terry, art by Michael Walsh. Yeah, the, the art itself looked pretty interesting, so a one-shot with some interesting art. Why not? And finally, my uh, copy of BPRD, volume 15, arrived. I am still waiting on 14, I think. So, but I believe this is it. This is the last volume of uh, the BPRD, Hell on Earth. The end of uh, John Arcudi and Mike Magnola's story. So, who's doing the art? Do we got some various artists on this? No, just Campbell. Yeah. So, I don't want to flip through this and spoil myself, but 
I'm sure most of you have read a PPRD by now. So that was the haul for the last week of March. Thank you very much for watching.